I'm going to start the session. Can you turn your textbook to page 112? All of you turn to page 112. I want to tell you that the coefficient need not always be an integer. What do I mean by that? Now, I think all of you have seen this term before, right? Or maybe before x. But we can also have one third x or two fifth x and so on. Okay, fractional coefficient. Okay, now all of you keep your mouth shut, this person. Now, when I write 2 over 5 with the x in the middle, this one is equivalent to 2 x over 5. Whatever that's in the middle belongs to the top. That's it, the numerator. Okay? Now, it is not like that. Huh? This is wrong. Huh? Do you understand? Whatever is that's in the middle belongs to the top. Okay? So, then, can I ask? This one is actually the same as x over 2, right? Yes. It changed 1 x over 3, right? But usually we do not write the one. You don't understand what I'm talking about here. Okay, there, there is another situation. Let's say I have one quarter n plus five. This means is n plus five over four. Can you see? Because it's actually one of these. Can see it? Okay. Or if I have let's say two over three n plus four. What does it mean? 2n plus 4 over 3. It belongs to the whole of the numerator, not just half. You cannot write this as... This is wrong. Huh? Can you see? You must have what? The bracket. That is correct. Do you understand? Yes. Yes, you can expand on the square plus eight, but usually you don't expand because it will complicate things. Okay. You understand what I'm talking about? But we try to leave it in factors first. Everybody okay? So this is called fractional. Whatever belongs to the top and the middle is the same. Everybody clear? Yes. Okay. If it's at the bottom, you have to write at the bottom. You cannot write in the middle. You understand? That's a good question actually. Okay? If it's at the bottom, you must write at the bottom. You cannot write in the middle. It's wrong. Everybody clear? Okay? Alright, good. So these are the basics huh, for fractional coefficients or fractional expressions. Okay? Now, next, I'm going on to the work that we are going to have. Okay? Can we all now turn to page 114? Let's look at example 8. Now, I'm going to teach you. All of you, please have your calculator ready. Okay. Now, I want all of you to get a calculator ready. Huh? All of you keep call minus 1 8. What is your answer? 3 over 8. So, this will be 3 over 8x. Huh? You can see that uh, I'm also collecting my terms. Okay. Negative 1 9 plus 11 over 3.
So that we know that the letter belongs to the numerator. Are we clear? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, yeah? Huh? Alright, good. So that is your A. Now, next, I'm moving on to B. Okay? I'm moving on to B. Okay, follow me look up now. This one is slightly more difficult. Can you see there's a mixture of fraction and whole number? But I told you, you don't want to do everything at the same time. Okay? What we do is this. Don't pass look up. Don't talk up. Over there. 2 over 3 bracket, 2 x. Now, go class, what is this? Minus 5x. Minus 5x. Minus 35. Correct? Okay? Then, don't rush. This one will be negative 3x, right? Yes. Plus 35. Correct? Yes. Okay, now, hold on first. Now is the thing, yeah? What is this plus this? Just negative 2x, right? Because the 3 cancels off now. 2 third times 3. If you cannot take your calculator, what is 2 third times negative 3? Negative 2x, right? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, now. Yeah. Can you see it now? Yeah. Okay, so it's a waste. Okay. Now, this one I'm going to use calculator first. What is this times this? Uh, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, Okay, now, this is a good one. Let me just give you something here. Let me change this question, okay? This one is 2x minus what? What did the question say? 5 then x plus x minus what? 6 y. Okay. What if it's 2 feet? You know what I'm saying? Okay, what is 2 feet? How do we do? Alright? How do we do that? 2 over 5, same thing huh? 2x minus 5x plus 31. Alright? Same logic. 2 feet negative 3x plus 31. Okay, this one when you multiply, it will give you this. If you use a calculator, alright? Yes or no? But this one when you multiply, it is still 5 and 36, right? This one will be equal to 12. Okay? It is possible. What Zolita says is possible. You can have a fractional and a whole number. It doesn't matter. Everybody clear? Now, do you know how I get negative 6 over 5? You take 2 things times negative 3. Use your calculator. Correct. Now, what's the meaning of 2 feet times negative 3? 2 feet times negative 3 over 1, right? So, when you multiply, it's numerator times numerator, remember? Negative 6 over 5, you see? And then, one more thing, ah. When it's negative 6 over 5, ah, it's equivalent to negative 6 over 5. In the middle, also can. It can also be at the denominator. It doesn't matter. Because positive and negative will give you negative. Anyway. Do you get what I'm talking about? Focus. That means if it's like that, or like that, or like that, they're all the same. Everybody clear. You mean the negative sign can be like? Anyway. Yes. Because you know why? Listen up. Negative and positive equal negative. Positive and negative equal negative. So all three are the same. Can you see now? Yes or no? So all three are the same. So no need to argue. It's not so steep like X, then you will belong to the top. Understand what I'm talking about? Okay? Alright. So, next question. Our next example. Okay? Let's take a look at question 
that's the reason why. Some causes argue with me, they insist that they want to do like that. I said, care, but you must be careful. But you're not careful, that's the problem. That's why I'm introducing in this method. Everybody clear with what I'm saying? Okay? Alright, good. Alright, next day. Can you take out your notebook? Okay? Your notebook.
Let me go. Three ovals. Seven to four. Okay. One more. Plus or minus. Let me go. Seven. Seven over twelve. Okay. Check the answer. Is this correct? Is this correct? Yes. Okay. Last one. What then? Three over two. Yeah. Okay. What each? I already said to put it in proper. So don't put it in mix. I'll be safe. Alright? So what if what is the coefficient of H? Negative? Five over twelve. Negative? Five over twelve. Very good. Last one. K. Okay. What's the answer? Plus or minus? Minus one. Sixty-seven over twenty. Coefficient? Give it in improper fraction. Understand? Then you will not make that much mistake. Everybody clear with what I'm saying? Okay, good. Next one. Continue in the book. I'm going to do two questions for you. Then you're going to do some questions for me at home. And we're going to go to it on Monday. Are we clear? Yeah. Okay. Next. Can we look at question number two? Can all of you look at question number two?
Okay? Okay, I'll give you time now to go until 1.15. Okay? What do I tell you? I want to go home and go. Go on. I want to do it now. And then, I will check it on Monday. Is that clear? Okay? Alright, uh, Kevin, stop the... What do you think?